Hey, it is Lieutenant Skip here with another video for you from On My Badge. Today we're going to be talking about the oral board and specifically who will be on your oral board. A lot of times candidates have a lot of anxiety, there's intimidation uh, that comes with going to your oral board. This may be your first oral board, it may be your third, your fourth, your fifth. Uh, obviously the more that you go through, uh, the easier they become. And that's because you have that understanding, that knowledge. But still, there's some key things that unless you have been informed about by someone who has participated in these things, who has that background uh, through oral boards or the police hiring process, you're going to miss out. Okay? So really quickly, we're going to sort of go over who will be on your oral board and some of the perspectives that they're going to be looking at an applicant through. Understand that when you go through your police oral board, the panelists will have a sheet of paper in there that they will use to grade your responses to the questions. Okay. Uh, there will be uh, questions based on scenarios, based on situations that you've dealt with in the past, uh, problem solving, just open-ended questions. But these questions will also be viewed through the perspective of that panel member. And intentionally, this panel will be comprised of various people. Okay. So one of the uh, people that you will most likely see is going to be some type of command officer. Generally, that's going to be a lieutenant or an aide to the chief or uh, to a division chief or one of the uh, high-level executives, okay, of that command structure. Uh, they're going to be looking at things in terms of the department. Is this person going to be a good fit for the department? Are they going to be able to buy in to the direction the chief or the sheriff is taking the department? Uh, are there any red flags that might come about during this oral board? That's the perspective that they will be looking at. In addition, you may have a supervisor. That can be a corporal, it can be a sergeant, a senior sergeant. Uh, they are going to be looking at the aspect of, is this person going to be someone who will play with the team? Will they embrace the teamwork? Will they be a member, a contributing member, or they're going to have um, some problems with that? Right? A lot of this is going to be how you present your answers. If you haven't taken a look already, we have our interview guide. You need to take a look at that. It has some great insights into the type of questions that you need to prepare for. And one of those is going to be how do you get along with others? How do you solve or move through conflict with other members of a team? You need to have examples of those conflicts that you've had, what you did specifically, and what the end result was. The next person that you may see on your oral board is going to be someone from the training aspect. It may be an academy sergeant, it may be a corporal or a P, uh, PTO and FTO. So those are the, going to be the folks who will be looking at the aspect of this person, someone who we can train. Are they going to be resistant or hesitant to constructive criticism? Are they going to take a, a responsibility and ownership of their mistakes? Do they have a high level? Of emotional intelligence okay so they're going to be taking a look at things uh, taking a look at your answers through that aspect so again it's going to be key that you put some component of that into your response on your oral board uh, there's a very good possibility that you may have a line officer okay the line officer is going to be you know the generally the the, the officer or the deputy sheriff who's going to be on the street that state trooper the person that the new applicant will work with on a daily basis or hours at a time. Is this person going to be someone we can depend on? Will they be able to carry their weight? Are they going to be there when we need them? Or are they going to be lazy? Are they always going to look for that out? Are they willing to go with that extra step to try to get things done? Do the right things for the right reason? Is this someone I can trust? Is this someone I can spend a significant amount of time with? The next person you may encounter on your oral board is going to be very possibly some aspect of a community member. Okay. Uh, this is going to be someone that the department trusts, maybe the, you know someone from their uh, community group, an advisory board. Um, so this is someone who has engaged and interacted with the high level command in many community member groups and they're essentially an advocate or a representative for the community of that department they're going to be looking at it as, 
Is this someone that we want in our neighborhoods? Is this someone that I want knocking on my door at three o'clock in the morning? Is this something I'm willing to let in my house, a complete stranger because I am in my in, in, in a crisis? Am I going to trust them? Am I going to be comfortable with them? Okay. So as you can see, each panel member is going to bring a certain perspective to their answer or to their uh, grading of your responses. So it's going to be up to you to give that to them. Understand the same questions will be asked to all applicants on that oral board, but how you develop your answers, how you deliver those answers will be crucial. The successful cat candidate, the successful applicant will be someone who will take time and really um, put some content to their answers. They're going to really look back at their history, their past, and see what they can pull from. If you have not already, take a look at our ride-along program. That is going to be essential for you to develop answers into um, things that these panelists will be able to relate to. Examples that will bridge you and this job and really give them an insight as to who you are. So if you have not taken a look at our Ride Along Secrets program, definitely do so. Hit subscribe and look forward to more videos from us. The Oral Board is going to be your chance to stand out from the competition, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be huge, so you cannot drop the ball on this. This is one of these um, phases that will either make or break your chance of becoming a police officer, a sheriff, a trooper. So take the time, do the research, and good luck.